Are you ready to acquire Breath of the Wild for PC? This is gonna be a much quicker version than my last, but we'll cover the same information. Let's get started. Click the first link in the description and click on your preferred version. Go to this next link and go to the releases tab on the right. Now go to assets on the latest release and click your preferred version again. Next, go to your downloads and extract SEMU using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Put the SEMU folder wherever you want. Open the folder and open the SEMU app. You'll need to create a new folder uh, where you will store your copy of Breath of the Wild. Then click browse and locate that new folder. You should also download the community graphics packs. Now you can configure your controller. After that, you're given the option to always launch the game in full screen. Click the box if you'd like, then hit next. You may have to disable your firewall to download Wii U Downloader. Seems the solution was to quickly allow the specific file. Finally, we can open Wii U Downloader. Click next and select your regions. Click next again, and select CMU only unless you plan on using it on your Wii U. Click next again. Now, click apply and search breath in the search box. Click each box under the game, update, and DLC tabs for Breath of the Wild. Now, hit download queue and select your games folder. I created a desktop shortcut for my Semu app. Uh -uh. Now open Semu and the game should, uh... BE THERE! Right-click Breath of the Wild and click Edit Graphics Packs. Click the Enhancements box. And if you want shaders, I recommend Serfrost's preset. <gasps> Definitely keep Depth of Field on. And then for Reflection, put it on Enhanced unless your graphics card is kinda ass. Reflection range, I would definitely put that up too. Same with anisotropic filtering, but only if your GPU can handle it. Next, select the graphics box, and then you'll be able to select whatever resolution you want. And same with your shadow resolution and shadow draw distance. In the mods section, I would absolutely check that camera sensitivity box and change it to the recommended sensitivity on the list. Here you're able to check the draw distance button and then also change the draw distance from the defaults. You can turn on extended memory only if you need to with the settings you've applied or just generally want to. And then FPS++ is where you're going to get above 30 FPS. Make sure you set it to whatever you'd like to or whatever your monitor is capable of. The rest of these settings can be left alone. And for cheats, you can honestly leave them all unchecked, but I definitely do prefer to put a couple of them on at the very least. You can now exit this menu and double click to open the game. It will take a moment on first boot, but you're done.